year 2011 with a remarkable achievement in both prescription and sale. SKF has been re-accredited by UK MHRA. Annual conference going on at Bangamundu International Conference Center with enormous joy and inspiration to achieve new milestones. Hello, I am Sadat Nasir. Welcome you all to SKF News Bulletin. Those were the headlines. Let's move on to the details. SKF is not just an organization, but the synonym of glory as well. This glory merges with another glorious name, Transcom. The leading conglomerate companies of Bangladesh started its journey with tea and juice sectors. Gradually, it diversified its operation into multi-sectors. Today, Transcom is playing the vital role of mentor of many renowned companies. Let us see at a glance. Transcom is one of the leading conglomerate companies of the country. The company which started its business in 1885 gradually diversified its operation into multiple sectors like healthcare sector, distribution channel, household electronic products, beverage, print media, electronic media, restaurant franchise. Continuing its journey towards diversification, Transcom entered into the healthcare sector and acquired ownership of the world-renowned pharmaceutical company Smith Klein and French during the wake of the merger between Smith Klein and French USA and Beecham UK in 1990. After the acquisition, the new company started its journey as SKF Bangladesh Limited. Till today, SKF nourishes the multinational heritage in its culture and has improvised it in each and every aspect. SKF Bangladesh Limited manufactures and markets a wide range of therapeutic drugs, bulk pellets, animal health and nutritional products to satisfy the unmet medical needs and improve people's lives. Today, SKF Bangladesh Limited is one of the leading pharmaceutical companies of Bangladesh with annual sales surpassing 6 billion taka with 25% growth over 2010. It has around 380 products with more than 155 brands. The company has always been marked with a rising trend, but it was in 2011 that the SCIF team had made a breakthrough. The company increased by its sales by 25% in the year 2011. Let us hear the story behind the success. SCIF believes that professional marketing is the hallmark of its commitment to customers. SCIF pursues marketing objectives through efficient and qualified cadres of product executives sales executives, medical services executives, and market research executives. With a large number of skilled field forces in its sales team, SKF has reached the remote corners of Bangladesh and is providing continuous service to the medical professionals chemists and druggists, as well as the public in general through clinical meetings, scientific seminars, awareness development programs and scientific information. SKIF sales growth is exponential. In 2000, sales of SKIF was 630 million taka. It took four years to establish the sales growth to double. In 2004, the sales was 1.4 billion taka. And in 2009, we achieved more than double, and that was 3.4 billion taka. In 2011, guess what? 5.3 billion taka. The word century is now synonyms with the masters like Sachin Tendulkar, Brian Lara or our Sakibul Hassan. But if we talk about the century of a brand of SKF, what will be that product you think? I know, all of you will say, Losectil. Losectil, the premium omeprazole brand of SKF has crossed the landmark of 100 crore and ended up with sales revenue 
of 111 crore in 2011. Besides sales, Lossictil holds the number one position in prescription rank in the total anti-ulcerant market. Following the success, the company has set an objective to touch 150 crore Taka sales in 2012. Time to take an Israel break. Still more to come in SKF News, so stay tuned. Coming up next, SKF has been re-accredited by UKMHRA. Annual conference going on at Bangabundhu International Conference Center. Esomeprazole, the number one anti-ulcerant of the world. Pioneer to introduce the high-tech Chiral column test and the practice of meeting USP specifications. Guarantees 100% esomeprazole enters into top three prescription club. 140% annual business growth. Sky is our limit. Let's fly. Escape is now re-accredited by UKMHRA. Let us know about the UKMHRA and the significance of its re-accreditation. The Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, MHRA, is the government agency of UK. It is safeguarding public health. The approval from the MHRA is given based on the satisfactory inspection report from auditors of UK MHRA authority. SCAF is also certified by EU GMP auditor from Novartis, global auditor of GlaxoSmithKline JSK, Servia France and Health Ministry of Kenya. SCAF is the only Bangladeshi company that is accredited by both UK MHRA and TGA Australia. These accreditations and certificates will eventually lead SCAV to become one of the major pharmaceutical product exporters in Europe. The secret of the success of SCAV is the power of we. All the achievement came due to the collective effort of its team members. We believe in the power of we. Like a single bee cannot make a beehive, a single man cannot make a company. It is our combined effort, or more precisely, the power of we, that enabled SCAF to pursue its goal. SCAF has never compromised with quality. CGMP, current good manufacturing practice, is a fundamental commitment of SCAF. The manufacturing facilities of SCAF fully comply with current good manufacturing practice CGMP. Its quality assurance practices of WHO recommended standard was certified by UNICEF, EU and international auditors. The operations are carried out by standard operating procedure SOP and controlled protocols that assure consistent high quality products with zero defect concepts. SKF believes in the theme quality must be built into the product. Our manufacturing plant consists of cephalosporin block, generic block, liquid injectable and insulin block, pellets block, formulation development block, warehouse. Now, live from the field, our special correspondence at Bangamundu International Convention Center exclusively is covering the annual conference 2012. Let's move to the convention center. Thank you, Sadaf. Welcome from Bangamundu International Conference Center. Today, thousands of SKF professionals from different corners of the country have gathered here today to attend the annual conference. Chairman and directors of SKF, along with many distinguished guests from the home and abroad, are attending this auspicious session. Now, I like to hear the feelings of this session from a participant who seems to be very happy today. What's your name? I'm Samina. What's your feelings today? My feelings, I feel absolutely great to be here. There's just so much excitement and energy in the air. I feel so privileged to be among the people who work day in and day out to make SKF a better place. 
And I know that we reached the target of 2011, but this time we'll make sure that we reach the target of 2012 because this year is Drive to Fly. Thank you. Apart from the businesses in Bangladesh market, Eskif is also among the top pharmaceutical exporters of Bangladesh. With an aim to grow more global, Eskif started exporting its quality finished products and bulk pellets to United Kingdom, Australia, United Arab Emirates, Germany, Philippines, Vietnam, Myanmar, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Guatemala, Belize, Afghanistan, Kenya, Uganda, and Iraq. Eskif is also expanding its business in Malaysia, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Chile, Venezuela, and Yemen. We have traveled a long way. Our remarkable achievements lifted the veil of new era of local and global success. But this is not the end. Still, we have to travel far away. Our energy is the power of we. I'm Sadaf Nasir, signing off. Stay healthy and let's drive to fly.